Well, hello everyone, it's been a little while. Thought I'd show you a few things that I've been working on. Um, kind of hoping this will be done before we got the camera started rolling, but uh, give me a chance to tell you about some other stuff. As some of you may know, I've ventured over into 3D printing and I've been making and designing and making parts for the D1. Things have been pretty good and I've put on three new printers. Took some time off to work on those. Got them set up. I've got stock built up. So anything that you're getting ready to see, I've got stock built up and I'll be shipping out the same day, next day, within two or three days anyway. I've got plenty of machines, plenty to keep up. Um, this hopefully won't take another second or two. I'll show you the next of the doodad. You've probably already stroked out a couple of them. <laughs> I'll show you how they work here in just a second. What you're looking at there is poster board. That's just a piece of standard poster board. You can get it from Walmart, uh, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. And it's got a white core to it. And you about, I'm going in a 130 five there at millimeters a second uh, on 100 speed and 35 for power you can do price tags you can make your own custom little things uh, I do the little thank you cards that I put in the bottom of each of the boxes under the parts when I send them those are done on the laser uh, this stuff is so versatile. I use it for uh, the thank you cards. I use it for testing. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. But the, you either do craft shows, you can make some really neat uh, price tags with your ingredients. Oh, hell, I forgot. Um, that real quick. I forgot, I need to cut a little square out. Uh, won't take a second. I need to head out of the way. Take my spool board out. I've got my metal down in the bottom. Just set my honeycomb in here. Piece. I've got a couple magnets. Maybe thing down here. Lock my head. Let's delete that off the screen and just draw a square. Where did we go? There we go. And it's an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter, or inch and five eighths, that's close enough. Turn the power up to 100. And turn the speed down to 10. We'll just frame it from where we're at. There we go. And we're going to cut the selected drive. That fast went from the spool board to cutting on the honeycomb. Oh crap, I forgot I gotta do a cut too. So just lift the head up, put it to the bag. Okay, cut that out just fine. Lift my honeycomb out. Set my rotary over in here. And how do you get the plug to go in? There it is. Turn my 
my head back up. Set my height. Now I'm just going to frame this. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to show you it does work. Um, enable rotary frame. in the corner over here. They're a different version of my leg mounts. These were the original leg mounts that I designed. They plug right on the they plug right on your legs and then widen this up. You plug that up on your legs, your other legs go in the bottom of it, and you put a spoil board across. If you're going to use a spoil board, I'd use the, the original ones. They'll be a lot more rigid for you. If you got a honeycomb, you can use these here. As you can see, they're a whole lot bigger, but they're made to hold up the size of the honeycomb. You can cut spool boards the same size. You take them down here and there they are. They're just on the feet. They're on the legs. And they just simply lock this thing in place. no threads, there's no, they just lock down, that's it, if you use your feet, also got the feet, you screw your feet to your table so they don't go anywhere, you put your legs on with the set of mounts, you can switch out from spool board to uh, go from your, from a flat spoil board to your honeycomb in just a mere seconds and for you people that do fixtures uh, you can actually make up a spoil board for each different kind of for different fixtures that you work with so raise the head back up move it to the back Take my rotary out. I'm gonna put my spool down. Yeah, we'll put the spool board right there. And just sit right in my feet. If you do jig fixtures or you're cutting out, say, uh, coasters, you're making different kinds of jigs, you can mount you a, a square, some kind of straightages on here, that you and make your little jig fixtures, and then just use current position and start off that corner right there. Just make sure when you send it, you grab your box or whatever your size is. I'm going to, I'll do a video for you. It's going to be so easy to take a board, cut you a bottom board. This board here is actually the, a, a shelf out of a, or a door off an old piece of an Ikea furniture. Um, it's just a laminate board. You can get them anything close to it at the hardware store or Ikea. You can sell sheets, and these are 
19 and 3 quarters by 19 and 3 quarters. If you match you a small piece of wood across here, here, you could just set your different templates right down in there and go to work. It'd be so easy. But I have the the, the mounts, the honeycomb mounts for the table are on the website in the store. Then let's see if you can get in here. I've got this cutesy little clamp. One finger and your head goes up and down. Box your head in place. It ain't going nowhere. Gives you, you can get partially on the glass, you get a little extra in, it's a little sloppy, but that thing is, it's in there. It goes right into your original screw hole. You don't have to worry about it coming loose because it's mounted to plastic, it'll absorb the shocks and stuff to where it won't come loose. It's not like metal to metal where it's going to constantly jar and come apart. Mine hasn't come loose yet. Uh, then, if you haven't seen, these are some new top clips I've come up with. They actually clip down so it secures your your stuff is secured inside of it rather than just the open shoe that I had before. You can put an airline in here, quarter inch airline. You can put uh, wire harnesses and this fits in there and it doesn't, it's not clamped on it to where it's harming the, the casing or anything. Those aren't on the site yet, but anyone that's been ordering The original air assist top clips that I have on the site, anyone that's been ordering these has been getting those. I haven't had any complaints yet. And I'm just going to switch them out, but I probably will still offer both. Some people might want the other one. Those hold so much better. And uh, with, the clamp, with the clamp on there, you don't have to worry about it coming loose. And lately, pretty much every order I've been sending out, everybody's been getting a bonus set of my wire management, my first wire management clips. These are what are over here on the side holding up the cable. They clip right on the side of your unit and hold your cables up. Got two for the side and two for up here on top. I've been sending them out. I'll send them out as a bonus while they last. I've got probably 50 sets of those printed. I'll keep sending them out as long as <laughs> until they run out. But everything's on the site. Where's my little sign? You can check out the website, uh, click on the uh, D1 parts in the menu, or go to Etsy, and it's Viper Designed is the store name, and you should be able to find everything there. Got any questions, feel free to ask.